Kong and Water Cheers to Diana Breathe. Enjoy. The more you use those connections, the more that you can create nuance because it's not just the two, it's groups of actual neurons. So don't let me geek out on the brain because I can talk for hours on this. It's really interesting that the, the brain continues to, wants to continue expanding. So last time that you use that ability, then you can use it also for something else. And if you ever heard somebody said, oh, I'm not good at filling in the blanks, right? Oh, I can't sing. Oh, I have bad pitch. Oh, I don't jump anymore. Oh, I can't do stairs. It's so easy for us to limit our ability when actually the brain is designed to create more and more connections and to maintain us um, in what I call restful vitality until the very end. It's not agitated. Um, it's not forceful. It's just life force in action. And mm -hmm. I like to see that across the board with the people that I work with, not only in daily movements, like you just said, also in relationships, also in sleep, also with yourself, and, and even adapting to challenges that continue to happen to us just like this last two years that it's been one challenge after the other so you could be setting your own ways and said oh well uh, i won't leave the house anymore because i don't know if i'm safe right we can show many many examples of how we create a pattern that helped us at some point and over time becomes old just like old programming in a computer and we have the capacity to identify it love it let it go and create a new one just like upgrading uh system Yes. Oh, that's a very cool way to look at it, a little upgrade. Mm -hmm. And again, it makes us realize like there isn't this time where you can't shift things. What I like about Feldenkrais, and I was introduced um, when I went to a yoga retreat in um, Mexico. And then when I came back, I found Diana's card and went and had lunch and then had some treatments with her is that it's so simple. It's like, you know, I, I remember we were kind of rolling around like babies on the floor in those very simple movements, but it was amazing how it shifted your body from doing simple because we're always like, oh, strengthen up and push all your da -na nas And this was more about mechanics of movement that then brought you in alignment. Mm. Yeah, simple is sustainable. Think about the last time you were trying to or attempting to train a pet or a young child. The more complex, the more confusing, actually, because learning something new is already confusing. You're already figuring something out. The simpler you can make it, the easier to understand and adapt, which is what we want in the end. Is something useful that you can see value on and then use it again until it becomes just preferred by your brain because it's efficient and for that it needs to be simple so i love that you brought that up the episode isn't quite over yet listeners or youtubers if you haven't given us a like subscribed left us a review or commented on any platform we would really appreciate you showing us some love here at the magical holistic healing arts remember hang in water and our grab bag for the podcast Thanks so much for listening and stay vibrant out there.